Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport by Track here, sportbytrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the Shift Triton waterproof jacket. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, 200 pounds with a mildly athletic build. I am, in this video, wearing a size extra large. With the liner that's in the coat, the full quilted liner, I'm able to adjust the jacket and get a pretty reasonable fit, okay? For the purposes of this video today, we only have the extra large here to review, okay? I would, in this jacket, for me, choose a large. I feel that the shift stuff, especially in the textile coats for the men, size is very consistent. This coat is one size too big for me, especially if I were to take that liner out, it would create a lot of additional room in the jacket, and I don't think it would look as good on me as it should, and I've, I've done it, I've had the coat on without the liner in it, truthfully, it just didn't fill it out right, so it didn't look the way that I would prefer, it was kind of too big on me. And I think that when you're buying a coat, that's something that you need to consider. How much riding will I be doing in this jacket with the liner in and with the liner out? And you really need to blend that with how you want the coat to fit. So you need to try the jacket on without the liner, you know, so say you place an order with it to get the coat. I would suggest before you go out and ride in it, try it on with the liner, wear it around the house a little bit, leave the tags on, all that good stuff. Take the liner out and then wear it like that and see how you like the fit, okay, and make sure that you're satisfied in the direction that you'll be using it the most. I think that's really key. So let's go back here to the Triton size extra large. This is a waterproof jacket from Shift, and you can see that this is, you know, we're kind of getting away from the sport bike a little bit here. It's not as loud as you'd normally see from Shift, okay? A lot more muted, cool jacket, kind of more of a sport touring. Let's give you a 360. There's a side. There's the back, and here's the front. This is another one of the jackets where the waterproof liner is not removable. It's a mid-liner. It's part of the coat. So for ventilation, what they've used, they have waterproof zips for ventilation. Okay. When the zips are open, the vents are open, and if you're in the rain, the jacket will no longer be waterproof. You know, if the vents are open, water can come in the jacket just like the air can. So you've got your intake vents here on both sides. You have exhaust vents on the back, and we'll show you that here in just a few moments. For storage, we have here two pockets that are zippered, waterproof zips. They're in the waterproof liner, and not only are the zips waterproof, but if you look at the way that they fold it over like this, that's a, 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 another layer of, of waterproofing by having the pocket itself the top of it fold over. Okay, so you can definitely put stuff in there and count on it remaining good and dry. We have arm adjusters here in the coat, both top and bottom. I have for me adjusted these a little bit because the XL is a little bit bigger than I'd really like it. At the cuff, the end of the sleeve, they use that nice soft fabric here so you can adjust this. Something I'd like to tell you about waterproof jackets and gloves when you're wearing them as a combo, okay? If you take your gloves and most waterproof gloves are going to have a gauntlet, and if you put them over the coat, okay, so say the gauntlet is over the coat, when you're riding and it's raining, the water will go down the coat, inside the glove, down in the glove, your hands will get wet for sure. The proper way to ride in a waterproof jacket and glove combo is to actually open the coat up, put the gauntlet of the waterproof glove up inside the jacket, and then close the cuff of the coat, okay? That way you've got the gauntlet riding up in here about this far, okay? You're not going to have a waterproof seal here, and a little bit of water could drive up in here, but typically it won't go up far enough to get past the gauntlet. Conversely, if you have the gauntlet on the outside, the water will flow down through the jacket into the glove for sure. So you see they use a nice soft fabric here. It folds up real well. It doesn't bunch up. The inside of the cuff is trimmed in that same fabric. Feels nice against the skin. Nice rubberized detail here on the adjuster pole, mirror image both sides. I've already pointed out the arm adjusters. They also have that nice rubberized detail on the pole. You'll see here in the high impact and abrasion areas, they've used a different fabric. It's simply more durable, more protective. You'll find that in the elbow and forearm, up here in the shoulders as well. A lot of cool reflective details on this jacket. This logo right here is reflective. It's that way on both arms. Let's go ahead and pull this jacket off and kind of give you a look from the inside out and the back side of the coat. 
for the waterproofing on the front, what they've done here is initially you have a flap that Velcros over. You can see to the left, to my left of its attachment points, there's kind of a dam here. Okay, that's to keep the water from driving in past that. Pull that over, and then here is our zip. Zip down. That is how they're achieving a watertight seal without using a waterproof zipper up the front of the coat. Go ahead and slide the coat off. Give you a look from the inside out. We'll pull apart. Back side of the jacket. We have a lot of protection here actually sewn into the shell. Okay, a lot of foam padding that's sewn in here. It goes pretty much all the way down to the tail of the coat. Reflective piping here. Reflective detail up here. Base of the neck. Here, here. here are our waterproof zippers that expose the exhaust vent at the back of the jacket. Mirror image on both sides. Waist adjuster, simple Velcro style waist adjuster. You can see these here, these rings. This is essentially a vent between the outer shell of the coat and the waterproof midliner. It just allows it to breathe so nothing funky happens inside. Let's go to the inside of the jacket now and let's have a look from the inside out. Here is our quilted vest and sleeve liner. Let's go ahead and to remove it, grab the zipper pull on the left side from the base to the top, undo it. Right side, same deal. Bottom to top, we've got three snaps across the top of the shoulders and the neck. Down here at the base of the jacket, a couple of snaps with loops. Pull those through. For the sleeves, reach inside, pull the quilted liner out. Let's undo our snaps, pull them through the loops, mirror image of course on the other side, and right here, out comes our full thermo liner. Nice job, good quality liner. The quality of the shift apparel is quite impressive. Let's put that off to the side and let's have a look at the jacket from the inside out. The collar uses that nice soft fabric, uh, feels great against the skin, keeps it good and comfortable and that's important when you have a high collar like this. We have zippered storage on the left breast. This is inside the waterproof liner so that will be waterproof storage there. Base of the jacket, we have a zipper attachment. This will allow you to attach this jacket to select shift riding pants. We also have a loop that will attach to a belt loop on your pants or your belt. This keeps their uh, uh, gap from forming between the base of the jacket and your pants when you're riding on the motorcycle. Okay, It's good for protection and it's good to just keep the jacket over the pants. Back padding in this jacket for protection. Let's have a look at the back pad, open the Velcro pocket here, reach in, pull it out. We have kind of a light density foam back pad here, it's perforated, keeps air circulating, works to keep you cool and comfortable. Shoulder and elbow armor. To access it, you open this Velcro pocket here in the shoulder, it says insert protective armor here, reach in. Grab our soft CE certified shoulder armor. Good and comfortable. Feels nice in the jacket. To get to our elbow armor, has a similar pocket to the one on the shoulder. Velcro closure. We're going to open that up. Reach inside, grab the armor, grab the sleeve, pull it through. Elbow, forearm, nice and soft, CE certified. We think the Triton's a nice jacket. I mean, if this is what you're looking for, kind of a sport touring jacket, waterproof, reasonable ventilation, well made, the Triton's a good choice.